Hey guys, how you doing? Let me just load this here. Here we go. I think we're there. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Let me just get rid of that for a second. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, hi guys. How you doing? So welcome, it's Thursday, and I was off last week, um, so I missed you. I um, wasn't here, so we are going to get going fairly quick here tonight because I have a lovely channeled message for you guys from the guides, and uh, I'm going to read that, but I'm just going to let a few people load for a second. So hi everybody, how you guys doing? So let me just say hi to all of you. Let me just see if I can just see what you guys are saying. Hi, Jody. Was just thinking about you. Oh, thanks, darling. How are you? Let's see. Let me just see. Viewer request. Jody, were you wanting to view a request? Honey, were you wanting to come on and view a request? Let me know if you do and I'll accept you. Um, sometimes people might click that on accident, so I don't want to just assume <laughs> that you want to come on. So, but let me know if you do. Um, Okay, so I was just thinking about you. She requested. Okay, so let me just see if that works. Hang on. Let me just, let's just see how that goes. Let me see if I did that right. You, go, you know, you guys, I'm always just kind of a mess with Instagram a little bit. So I really should take, take a class or a course. <laughs> Hi, Jody. Oh, there we go. See, I think that might have been an accident. Okay, anyway, if you, if you want to come on, honey, just let me know and uh, do it. Sometimes, you know, we push that button by mistake. All right, guys, so hi, how are you? Happy Thursday. So uh, tonight we have a channeled letter from the guides, Edgar. And so I'm going to read that to you. And it's about filling your prescription. And, you know, the guides are lovely about how they really try to make their guidance and their teachings for us very easy to understand, easy to implement. Um, they don't get real, um, they're a little wordy sometimes, but they don't get very, um, you know, they, they keep it in a way that we can all understand and in practical ways that we can all identify with. And that's one of the things I really just love so much about Edgar the Guides because, you know, I think it's important that not, if we're going to receive messages and teachings and guidance, we want to be able to understand it. We want to be able to implement it. We want to be able to resonate with it. And I love that the guides uh, put it um, always in these words and, and uh, in these ways that we can really identify with in our own life. And so I love that. Hi, guys. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining here on Insta. How you guys doing? Hi everyone on um, Facebook. So we're gonna get going. I have a lovely little message, a channeled message here, but so I'm just letting a couple of you quickly join in. I just wanna ask you, where are you from? Who's chiming in? Tell me what city you're from or what state you're from. I would love to know. I wanna be able to give a shout out and say hello to you. So please let me know um, where you're all from. Uh, let's see. See, wanting to know if I can have a reading. Okay, Jody. Um, I'm not doing readings here live tonight. Um, at least I'm not planning on it. Uh, it's always up to spirit, though, of course, right? Uh, anyway, so uh, I want to know where you guys are chiming in from and where you're from and all of that. Um, it has been a very, very busy summer here uh, in between, you know, moving to Las Vegas and, you know, doing all the readings and uh, all these kind of things. Uh, and wanting to pick up on my uh, channeled um, teachings again with the guides. It's been super busy. But my son from New York came into town uh, last week, and he stayed here a week. So that was really wonderful. And he just kind of uh, let me know, like, Mom, I miss you. I want to come out and see you. I want to see the new house. I want to be with you. And so he came for a week, and it was wonderful. Um, and you know what's interesting is, like, when he came, you know, because we – we got a lot of stuff out of storage. We moved everything out of storage. And so we had some stuff in our garage here. And I said, like, when you're coming, you got to go through your stuff. And what was awesome is um, he did that. But what little treasures we came across in some of his tubs. Amazing. Um, I found his birth certificate <laughs> and his social security card in his tub. <laughs> and not but maybe three weeks ago, I was panicked because I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, and I was going to have to go through, like, the record department in downtown L.A. to kind of um, issue new ones. And there it was found. So asking you shall receive, right? So I've been putting that thought out there going, where the heck are those? 
And there they were. So in the tub, love that. And but you know what's cool is he wrote a um, an essay to get into college. My son went to USC, and he had to write an essay to go into college to to get accepted. And he wrote a letter. Um, he wrote an essay about the passing of his dad, and it and it was also in the tub, and it was really well, he got in, so it was a good it was a good essay, <laughs> but uh, it was so beautifully written, and you ju it was just I I so want to like read it on the live, I just don't know if he'll let me, <laughs> but it was really just so beautiful, and I, it was just such a treasure, and you know, um, to see kind of where he's come through the process of grief and healing. And and I'm sure all of you in some way can identify a little bit of that too, like where you have come from your grief and your healing um, in that process. Um, you know, it's amazing. I really believe journaling is so important because um, he had books of journals too that uh, we found in the tubs also. So, so many of these beautiful treasures and it really made me realize, you know, on a bigger level, even just the beauty of journaling and how you really can see your own healing um, happen right in front of your eyes when you go back and you read um, some of the things that you've journaled. And um, he shared several with me uh, through his findings in the tubs. And so it was it was wonderful. So uh, anyway, I always encourage uh, journaling. It's amazing to see how your progression in your healing process. So I'm always a big fan of that. So it was wonderful. So I had my son in town, so that was amazing. And um, I left one day in the afternoons. I had a couple hours off and I did some errands and he came back and said, hey, I, I came back at like three o'clock and he's like, hey, where was my lunch? <laughs> and it's funny too, like how sometimes they convert right back to how they were when they were like home living with you. <laughs> and I thought that's so interesting. Um, anyway, it was so wonderful to see him. I just uh, love him to pieces. And it was great that he made that trip to be with his mama. So love that. So I also realized on his trip here with me that I have forgotten how to cook. And I will tell you that I'm not a professional cook by any men, any stretch. You all know, I always talk about how I can't cook. I literally didn't, don't even know how to use my ovens. I have four ovens in this house and I don't know really how to use any of them um, except for the microwave. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Um, I have this wonderful little iPad in my kitchen that I'm going to do kick, cooking videos. And so I'm going to really learn and really dive in as soon as I have a moment. It's on my to-do list and it's um, moving to the top of the list here. So, But I really realized that I even forgot how to make scrambled eggs. It was really embarrassing. So I'm just, I just, you know, you forget when you don't cook that much. Hi, guys. When you forget to cook and you don't have a reason to cook, um, you know, you kind of forget. So anyway, so uh, that was embarrassing. But anyway, um, it is what it is. So we all have um, we all have something we're good at and something we're not so good at. And uh, and that's OK. Anyway, so where are you guys chiming in from? Hello. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi, Bonnie. How are you? Hi, Kathy. Patience is key, she says. Hey, Kat. Uh, hi, Kim. How are you? Hi, honey. How are you? So, uh, Kim Moyer, hello. Anita. Um, hi, Monica. You look so pretty today. Thank you so much. Uh, Dawn, hello. I'm new here. Hello, Dawn. Welcome. Where are you from, Dawn? Let me know. Uh, hi, Amy. Hello. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Joyce. Nice to see you. Um, I are you on my calendar? I think you're on my calendar. I thought I saw you. Um, hi, Cheryl. Miss Dawn Stevens, Connecticut. Okay, wonderful. Welcome. So you're not that far from my son in New York. Uh, eight, um, Athena, hello from Simi Valley. Maria. Hi, Monica. My dog Harley is dying. I'm so very sad. I'm so sorry, darling. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Let's all take a moment and just send out some love to Harley. Let's send out some wonderful love that he transitions to spirit so beautifully and so peacefully and uh, with so much love in his heart, which I'm sure he will have because you were his dog mommy. So I'm um, sending love to you, darling. I'm so sorry. Um, Michelle is from New Jersey. Hi, Michelle. Anita. Hello from Connecticut. Keisha from Maryland. Hello. Joanne is from Ohio. Kim Millwood, how are you, honey? George is in the house. Hello, Kim. Anne is here. Hi, Anne. Uh, Lori is from Rhode Island. Hello, darling. Kristen. Uh, Rhode Island, I want to get there. It's so pretty, I hear. Um, Kristen, hey, Monica. Hey, Kristen. Jennifer Garland, hello from Ohio. Hi, beautiful Tracy, New Jersey. Uh, doing this with tornado warning. So far, so good. Let's hope internet stays good and you stay safe. 
Miss Tracy, is there tornadoes in New Jersey? I didn't even know that existed. My goodness, that's some serious weather. Sue's from Massachusetts. Hello, Sue. Richard, New York. Hi, Monica. Hello, Richard. How are you? Cheryl Miles, New Jersey. We got Amy from Nebraska and Erin. Let's see. Hi, Monica from Pennsylvania. But joining tonight while vacationing in Indiana Rocks Beach, Florida. Wonderful. Thank you, Erin, for sharing your vacation with us. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the letter tonight. Hello, Leslie. She's on vacation also in Yellowstone. You guys been having some wonderful vacations? I love that. Um, Lynn, good evening, Monica. Good evening, Lynn. Uh, Linda is from Santa Clarita. Hello, Marie. Um, Athena, you don't use it to lose. You don't use it, you lose it. Yeah, that's true with the cooking, right? I literally have lost any skill I even had, which was small to begin with. Uh, I got to start from scratch, but maybe that's better. Maybe that's better. I'm going to get to be a good cook. I know it's going to happen. I used to be pretty good years and years ago. I just, I forgot. Um, Kathy from Chicago. Hello, lovely Kathy. And um, feet keeps cutting out. Uh-oh. Um, hope you're okay there, Leslie. Um, is everyone else okay? Am I, am I nice and smooth with you guys? Can you guys get, is internet okay, honey? With, can you guys all see me okay? Let me know. Give me some hearts. Hi, Pamela. Living in Santa Clarita now. Wow, congrats, darling. That's exciting. I think sometimes we want a little change. Um, hey, Denise, she's from Riverside. Hi, darling. Uh, yes, Joyce says she's seen me August 7th. Can't wait. Thank you. I thought I saw you on my calendar for August. Um, you're so sweet, Monica. Thank you all, Maria. I mean it, honey. Just um, sending love your way to Harley, darling. Um, hi, Jeannie. Hi, you guys. Okay, let's see who else. Maria, um, the video is not working if I'm not on. Keeps cutting out. I have to go fund me on my page. I'm being, oh, he will go beyond. Yes, he will, darling. Yes, he will, honey. Hi, guys. Okay, so hearts are okay, so the connection's good. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so um, thank you guys all for letting me know where you're coming in from. Thank you for saying hello and sending love. I love that we have this little community. I'm so happy to be back on. Next Thursday, I think I won't be on again because I accidentally um, opened up uh, the evening for Thursday and I booked out. So um, now I have reading. So I won't be able to do um, um, a live next Thursday, but I might try to pop on um, one day next week just randomly. So it might just be a little um, unexpected uh, live. So I might do that just to kind of make up since I can't be here next Thursday uh, because I'm doing readings. Um, Don is here from New York. Wonderful. Hi, Lynn. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, Kathy says her grandma was a great cook. She's always said, if you can read, you can cook. <laughs> She's being very optimistic, and I love her positiveness, your grandma, but I don't know. I don't know. I think, you know, my dad was an amazing cook. Like, he loved going to grocery stores. My father loved to cook. He loved to cook for an army of people. The more, the better. He had three freezers, two refrigerators. My dad loved to cook and store food. He was really into it. He loved grocery stores more than anything. And I remember once my dad um, visited me, and I took him to Bristol Farms. If you know where that is, it's kind of like a fancy little grocery store and he was literally in heaven you think he would have been eight at Disneyland I mean he was just over the moon and he was such a good cook and loved it and had so much pleasure doing it so I you know often wish I would have had that skill <laughs> talent that love for it you know I think you gotta love it to be good at it maybe anyway uh so okay so you know I'm not gonna be here next Thursday but I'll try to pop on next week some uh sometime randomly um, I want to say we have a letter tonight that is from the guides. We're going to get going. And I hope you guys have pen and paper because the guides want to um, give you a little exercise uh, to kind of get you uh, going uh, with, their, um, with their guidance for you today. So um, let's make sure you have paper and pen just for kicks and giggles. It would be fun for you to kind of maybe just go through that process and see if something uh, comes up for you through the letter. So I always love um, when you get the letter to like close your eyes and just like listen to the words. Um, I love doing that. I um, when I channel the letters, when I channel the messages, I, I I do it through voice. And so when they come through, um, I like to listen to it because the way they're coming through, it's absolutely their personality that kind of um, comes through and the way they highlight certain words and things. And I just like to close my eyes and like listen to it 
uh, and I love that. And so maybe if you're not driving and you're in a safe place and you're cozy and comfy, um, it is a little bit lengthy, not overly lengthy, but it's a little lengthy. Uh, so, um, and then we'll talk about it a little bit and let's see what your thoughts are. I would love to know and see if it resonates at all with you, okay? So let me just see where you guys all are. We're gonna get going now because I wanna get it going. Hi guys, hi Juliana, how are you? Jess Morgan joined, thank you. Hi Chris, how are you? Hey, Kristen, how are you? Hi, Pat, how are you? Um, beautiful you as well. Um, thanks, you guys. Uh, Jody's from Agora, hello. Um, let's see, Jeff is saying, hey, you, happy birthday. I uh, don't know about that, so you must be talking to somebody else. Julie's coming from California, hello. Um, oops, sorry. Okay, sorry. All right, let's see. Um, all right, so I want to see if you can, okay, let's see here. All right, so let's get going on the reading. So listen, here's what I want to say. I'm never trying to ever, you know, tell you anything. I'm just sharing. Um, I receive guidance from the guides. Um, they love for me to share it, so I do. Um, I know the messages are for me, but also for you. And so I always want to open that up and share it with you and see if it helps you in some way in your life. Um, take what you love, leave what you don't. Um, I'm just um, sharing, and that's what I want to do. I get cozy, get comfortable, I'm going to read it. And as you know, what they, they like to do as teachers is they like to give analogies to really get you to understand where they're going. So they kind of really lay the foundation, and then um, they kind of give it to you. <laughs> uh, they, they give you that message. And so understand that's how they work. Um, hello. Um, okay. Hi, guys. Hey, Sally. How are you? Hi guys, thanks for joining. Okay, perfect, so let's get going. So are you cozy? You got pen and paper? In case you choose to wanna to partake in the little exercise that they ask you to do. So if you want to, great. Obviously you don't have to, this is um, up to you. Okay, so let me get into the letter. And then I have quotes afterwards because I have a couple of lovely quotes I think resonate nicely with the letter, all right? Okay, so here we go. Living a mindful life pharmacy or grocery store? What do they mean? <laughs> so indeed, a wonderful way to be together. As we sit all together in a collaboration for one another, you see. For when each of you sit together, you are helping one another. And as you help another, you help yourself. It is nice indeed, this beautiful collaboration of us, us with her and you with us and all of us together. It is so. And we wish today to speak a bit on yourself, you see, for it is true our goal always is to help each of you know yourselves better. And as we say know yourselves better, what we wish to express here is to know and understand how you are. For there is much that is created within you to allow you to be you, to express yourself as you are, as you are intended to be, to step into the world truly as you are meant to. And as we say this, we have some of you scratching your head perhaps, as some of you sit in question a bit of who you are. As you have fingers touch your wrist or your shoulders or your abdomen, you see, there you are. And you clearly see, you see yourself. But we ask you here now, do you? Do you see yourself? Do you know yourself? Can you understand that what is created within you is far greater and of more importance than what you even see or what you can touch? And so we always wish to allow you that opportunity to know yourself, for when you know yourself, you trust yourself. There we have it, trust. For when you know yourself, you begin to trust yourself. And when you trust yourself, it is there when you truly understand yourself. And when you understand yourself, ah yes, this is when life becomes quite good. Because when you know yourself and understand yourself, trust yourself, ah, there is when the energy really seeps from you. And when you begin to create the world for yourself that is truly of your wanting. So it is important that you know what it is you want. It is important you know why you want it. And for each of you sitting here today, it shall be different. What you want, why you want it, 
and how you will each achieve that very thing. You know, as you drive through your cities, through your streets, through your towns, your villages, whatever you call them, and you need to go to the pharmacy. You need to go to the grocery store, or even you need to go to your hairdresser. There is action that is taken to get you there, yes? To arrive at any of those destinations we mentioned, there is action on your part. There is much certainty, you see, in you arriving to any of those destinations, for you have complete certainty. When you go to the pharmacy, you are aware of where it is, and you know the roads which you need to take to arrive there. And as you step into the pharmacy, you know why you are there. There is certainty. You come with your prescription, and you know what the prescription is for you and how it shall aid and benefit you. There is much certainty, you see. You know where the pharmacy is, what you need there, what you will receive, and what the benefits to you will be. It is the same when you go to a hairdresser. And although at the hairdresser, perhaps, you contemplate what type of haircut you might want to try today. Will it have minor changes or will it have major changes? But there is in that very thought process of will it be a minor change, a trim perhaps, or will it be perhaps wanting something fresh and new, a new look you see. But with those questions that you ask yourself, as we say asking is quite good, you become clearer in your knowing of what you will decide. But as you are deciding as you drive to the hairdresser, you become clear on what it is you want. And as you are driving to that hairdresser, once again, you have your route to get there. You know why you are going. And in this particular car ride, perhaps you are a bit unsure of how the outcome will quite be, but you know there shall be an outcome. As you are taking the steps, making the action moves to arrive to receive what it is you wish, and there is certainty, there is. The grocery store, it is the same. For many of you, you prepare a list as you go to the grocery store, quite aware of what you need. And sometimes, would you agree? That you leave the grocery store with your list in your pocket and you get home and you remember something that you have forgotten. It happens. Even when you're quite prepared, it can happen. Your list is made and there are items that you forget, not intentionally. So you go to the store with the intent to get what you placed on your list. You leave the store with perhaps additional things on your list that were not on your list. And you arrive home as well with perhaps an item or two that was not on the list that you did not end up with as well. This happens too, does it not? And we can use this example of the grocery store for your life, making plans in your life, strategically placing things on your inner wanting list. And perhaps things don't turn out. Things show up differently in your life. You end up with something quite different than what you expected, just like at times at the grocery store. And then you reminisce back, for instance, in your life. As you wanted things to look a certain way, it's very much just like the grocery store list. You had planned out how you wanted life to be, and it turned out a bit differently. Receiving things you didn't expect, perhaps pain you did not expect to endure. Life moved you in perhaps different ways than you expected. And this is life too, would you agree? Sometimes there is great certainty like the pharmacy. You know where it is, you know why you're going, and you have your prescription in hand, and you know why you are receiving that prescription. There is certainty. And then there was things like the hairdresser where you're willing to play a bit, would you prefer a trim or a complete new hairdo? Yes, and within this way of stepping into your life, there is the certainty of knowing you want something different. Perhaps not clear on perhaps what change you wish in life to have or how the change will look like and to what degree you may wish change to be. That's like the hairdresser you see, but you do know you are wanting change in your life. There is certainty there, certainty in wanting change. But again, you know where the hairdresser is. You have certainty that you're going 
certainty of why you're going, but there is a bit of a playfulness on you having the freedom of what the outcome will give you. And then there is the grocery store. And as you walk the aisles, you place things in your cart you didn't plan would go in the cart that wasn't on your list at all. Life does this to you as well. At the checkout, there was this stand with last minute things to consider that you could grab spontaneously. You weren't thinking about it, wasn't on your list, but there was that urge to place that chewing gum in your cart perhaps. And life does this to you. Life gives you unexpected last minute choices. And as you're placing things on your conveyor belt, you recognize that there were things that were not on your list at all. Why were those things not on your list and why were they now put in your cart and onto your conveyor belt? Because something moved you to take it. Do you ever wonder why that is? There was something within you that said, I must have this, I would enjoy that. I've never had this before. I remember having this once before and it's been a while and I think I will try some more of it now. And you place it in your cart. So there are many reasons why things land in your shopping cart at the grocery store. That was not really on your list at all. You most of the times are okay with this, but boy, you certainly get upset with yourself when you arrive home and you notice there was something on your list that did not end up in the bag. And as you unpack at home, you realize it. And for many of you, you feel this way with your own life unpacking things from your bag of life, recognizing some things didn't turn out as you planned. And you wonder, where did I go wrong? What made me take this route? What made me choose this relationship over that one? This career over that one? Why did I pick this over that? And we would like to bring you back now to the pharmacy getting into your car, knowing exactly where the pharmacy is, knowing with absolute certainty of what it is you wish to have, knowing exactly with complete certainty of why you wish to have it, why you need it. You have a prescription in your hand to fill. But you see, as you go to the pharmacy, your list is much smaller. There's perhaps one, two, maybe three things on that list for you. And they each serve as a direct purpose for you specifically. But the grocery store, that allows you to have a much bigger list. And that is your life filled with variety. There are times in life where you need the pharmacy. You see, specific purposeful things that are needed and necessary for your journey in life. And then there is the grocery store where there could be more variety that feeds curiosity to you wanting to try this, wanting to try that. You can, although, get a bit distracted in the grocery store. Would you agree? Going through the aisles, sometimes it takes your focus off of your list. One aisle offering you things and another aisle offering you other things. And as you travel down all the different aisles, you become aware of many things. And this is life giving you opportunity and possibilities to become aware of. And perhaps for many of you, as you go through the grocery store aisles, you do not have quite the same focus as when you go to the pharmacy. When you leave the grocery store, your life, we call it, there are many experiences, many aisles that offer you many things. And we see that many get a bit distracted and the focus becomes a bit lost. And many sit and wonder, how did I get where I am? How did I come home from the grocery store with not everything on my list? Why did I show up at home unpacking with things that were not on my list? It is good to think about that in your own life. For with every choice of what is placed on that grocery list and what is placed in that grocery cart, there is meaning. But do you take the time to make the list of your life and to spend some time looking at what is in the shopping cart? prior to your checkout. Some of you do sometimes, but most all of you don't do that every time. What is important, what we say here, is that to know that you know where your grocery store is. 
you know where the hair salon is and you know where the pharmacy is as well. You are aware of where to get those items that you need, where to get those services that you need as well. And within you, we say it is the same. Within you is the knowing of what it is that you absolutely need with complete certainty, just like the pharmacy. And your life is your grocery store with many different things to purchase and possibilities to become aware of, you see. We use grocery store here as an example just because you have all stepped in one. You've all placed things in your cart. You've all made a list from time to time and you have all come home from the grocery store from time to time forgetting items that were on your list. You also have had the need for the pharmacy in your life. So we ask you here now, as you make a list in your life of how you want your life to be, how you want to feel in your life, the experiences you wish to have in your life, are you making the time to make a proper list? And do you step into your life with the certainty of knowing of why you need it? Or are you the shopper throwing items at random on your conveyor belt? With the pharmacy, you see, you go with the prescription in hand. You go because you know what you need. Do you step into your day knowing what you need? Do you? We wish for you to place focus here. For this would be a wonderful place to begin the knowing of who you are, because it is within you. The certainty, the knowing of what you want and what you need and why. The prescription is within you. Are you going to the pharmacy to get it filled? Do you see what we mean here? Do you understand what we try to say to you here? That within you is your prescription to your happiness to your joyfulness, to your contentment, to your peace. The prescription is within you, you see. And just as you go to the pharmacy in life and you know where it is and you head with certainty, knowing why you're going and your list manageable, knowing there are specific items on that list for the pharmacy. And you most of the time come home with everything on that list. Do you not? We say you do. There is great focus when you go to the pharmacy. Do you have focus on your life with the prescriptions that sit within you? Do you know how to fill your own prescription of joy, your prescription of happiness, your prescription of contentment, of peace, faith, your prescription of trust? Those are each a prescription that sit within you and you are that pharmacy. You see, you are that pharmacy that holds the ability to fill each and every one of those prescriptions within you. You are the internal pharmacist. But many, many do not go with quite the same focus in life and they head to the grocery store instead with no list whatsoever, and you just start piling things into your shopping cart, you see, and some things are fine. As you try and play and you uncover new things to give a whirl at, we say this is lovely. And it is fine if you don't always end up with everything on your list. There is much in a grocery store, you see. And this is your life, you see, always giving you experiences as well, with so much variety. And we say it is good to do this, but we wish here to mark just the importance of knowing the difference between the pharmacy and the grocery store. The pharmacy allows you the filling of the needed prescriptions that is required within you. Your prescription of inner peace, of joy, of contentment, of happiness, of your serenity and to your worthiness. When you then go to the grocery store, and you choose things in your shopping cart to play with, they will always be a beautiful match to the prescriptions you have filled within you because you are stepping into the grocery store emotionally healthy and full of light. 
It is from that place that you make the choices that go into your cart that match what it is you have allowed the pharmacy within you to give you. And it is then when the grocery store experience becomes more of keeping you full of delight, you see. That is your life. And really what we just tried to do here is to give you a visual, something to understand. For so many have a hard time understanding the inner self, the soul, the knowing and understanding the true needs that sit within you. And when you don't care properly for those, and you don't fill and care for those things with those prescriptions, it is difficult to make choices in the grocery store of life that will serve you well. Do you understand? So as you fill your life, as you fill yourself with the necessary things to keep you healthy mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, this is your inner pharmacy, you see. And when you keep that well, you will then step through your grocery store, pulling things from the shelves and putting things into your cart of life, pulling things from the shelves that complement and benefit your inner pharmacy, you see. And we wish for you to think of it that way, to know and understand that there is tremendous importance to the wellness of your spiritual, emotional, and physical being. And so many of you have been driving past the pharmacy, not filling those prescriptions for the self. You bypass the pharmacy and you go straight to the grocery store over and over. And we say there is importance in all of it, there is importance in the pharmacy. There is importance in the hair salon, for it is good to try new things. And there is importance in the grocery store to have variety, you see. And we just share that with you, these little analogies to make it a bit lighter for yourself, to allow you the opportunity to see a little bit better, to give you a way to understand and see it, you see, easier, simpler, and a way to understand and see it that this is not to be difficult. Feeling and understanding how to fill yourself emotionally, spiritually and physically is important and it is not difficult. So we just give you something new to look at, a visual to understand, and today it is for you to understand how to fill that prescription to your own peace, to your own joy, to your own happiness. How to align yourself more emotionally, physically, spiritually. And to understand that each of those is a prescription that sits within each of you. And those prescriptions need to be filled. And it is time to no longer drive past the pharmacy. It is time to stop, park, bring in your prescription and fill it. So how can you do that? How can you fill your prescriptions? We say, start by making your list just as you would at the grocery store. Call it your prescription. You may have a list of spiritual, a prescription list of emotional, a list of physical, and we will play here just a moment with you. This is your exercise today. It is to create your own list your own prescription, to create your list spiritually, emotionally, physically. And then each shall write a prescription for each one on what it is needed for yourself in the area that you list. And you will begin today filling it so you may feel better. So we'll leave you here now with your assignment and we wish the assignment to be fun and light. We wish it not to be heavy. We wish just to allow you to ask yourself the questions that are needed to know how to fill your own prescriptions. So it is now time for you to ask, to ask those questions of yourself, to get your paper and pen out and ready. And as you are to continue further now with your exercise, we leave you with a knowing and understanding that there is great importance in you and there is greater importance in knowing you. And when you know you, we say, there will be no happier version of yourself than the version that you learn to love. 
This is a prescription for yourself as well. It is so. And until next time, we say there is great love for you here. It is so. So that was the letter from the guides. And what they speak about is they speak about the importance of us. So they speak about the grocery store and they speak about life being the grocery store. And they speak about how the grocery store is filled with so much, far bigger than the pharmacy, right? But the grocery store serves a different purpose than a pharmacist, than a pharmacy. They say when you are in the grocery store, it's fun to be able to pull a little bit off the shelves that are on your list, that aren't on your list. But they say that if you do not attend to your own inner joy and happiness, if you don't fill those inner prescriptions, your pharmacist, you are not going to pick wisely from the grocery store. And you will pull things from the store that you don't need that aren't benefiting you in your life. And this is how we make wrong choices and wrong decisions. And this is how we make life choices that maybe we feel we should have done differently. And the guides are saying that you will always pick from the grocery store of life correctly when you have serviced and you have filled your prescriptions within spiritually, emotionally, physically. And they say it's important to always uh, keep a knowing of what it is that fills those prescriptions. That if you always fill those prescriptions, your grocery store of life will always be a fun adventure of variety, which is what life should be. It's not about, you don't have to be so rigid in your grocery store of life. It's fun to play off the shelves and the aisles at the grocery store, but you will choose better. Decisions in life choose better in your own life for your best well-being when you're treating the prescriptions within you of what spiritually feels good to you. What? emotionally feels good to you what mentally what physically and what are those things for you so the guides say it is time to ask yourself to make a list to treat each one as a prescription a spiritual prescription a emotional prescription a mental prescription a physical prescription and then start asking yourself what is it about any of those things that will draw me closer to myself, closer to knowing what that is for me. Does that make sense? So let's kind of just play a second. What do you all think about that message? What do you think about the guides? What do you think about what they were trying to do? The analogy of the pharmacy and the grocery store. If you think about it, it's, it's very easy to understand. The pharmacy, you really usually go with a main goal and a purpose and focus on why you're going to the pharmacy. We never go to the pharmacy randomly just because. We always go with a clear focus of what we need. And the guides are saying, do we step into our life, going into life with a clear focus of what we need? Or do we drive past the pharmacy? Do we not pay attention to what we need physically, to what we, not, what we don't need physically? Do we not pay attention? Do we drive past our inner pharmacy and not deal with those prescriptions? And they're saying it's time to stop doing that. It's time to pay attention to that pharmacy within us and to know that within us we have everything we need to fill it are you showing up for yourself are you asking yourself the questions of what you need what do you think let's see says I avoid taking meds afraid of what would happen but just understand they're not talking about medication they're talking about things they want to talk to you about your physical well-being, that they're not speaking about medications. And I'm not saying that that's what you're going, but I just want to be clear about that. They're not talking about taking medications. They're talking about being your own pharmacist within you, that by paying attention, having focus on what feeds you spiritually will help fill that joy within you to 
Begin to pay attention to physically what you need in your life to draw happiness to you or joy to you is what will fill that prescription within you. What are those things? And each one of you, you're going to have different things. There's going to be different things that fill your, your spiritualness, your wellness, your, 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 what feeds you physically, emotionally, spiritually. It's going to be different for all of us. What is it for you? It's got to be personal. You are the only one that will know that answer because you are the, it is you. You know what makes you happy and not happy. You know what feeds your soul and doesn't. If you spend time focused in that inner pharmacy, you will know what those things are. And when you go into life focused on your pharmacy, you could play in life at the grocery store and play a little bit and have more variety and not get sidetracked and still be able to make wonderful decisions and, and wonderful choices and live life with a little bit more variety because you are attending to your inner needs. That's your inner pharmacy. Anne says, loved it, helps to know if we have more joy, we will make better choices, right? They say, if you go into the grocery store of life, after attending to your pharmacy, you will make better choices and you will step in with more confidence, more assurity, more certainty, more knowing, more playfulness because you're addressing and dealing with the prescription within you that is really your basis of all of your joy and happiness. Your spirituality, your emotional well-being, your physical well-being, your mental well-being. By attending to all of that, playing at the grocery store becomes fun and light. So do, you, do we do that? Are you someone, ask yourself this question, am I someone who keeps bypassing the pharmacy and going straight to the grocery store? Are you someone, ask yourself, it's personal to you, are you someone that is not paying attention to what you need to fill those areas in your life? That's a question for you. Julie says, just like when my tank is empty, similar, I think. Exactly, because obviously when we're filled, when our prescription is filled, we feel better, right? When we drive on an empty tank, we don't get far. When we have a full tank, we can go anywhere, you see. So yes, it's another analogy you can say, fill in your tank, absolutely. Um, okay, so let's see, Kat, thank you, beautiful letter and great activity. Um, Wonderful letter, much to do and think about, Joanne says. Thank you. Um, you know, and I just think, and again, all the guys are really trying to do is really allow you to become aware and to ask the questions, because they say, ask and you will know. Ask, do we ask ourselves enough? I mean, do, have you ever really thought, hey, am I driving past the pharmacy and heading straight to the grocery store? Some of us do that all the time. Some of us are never putting focus on the pharmacy. Some of us are never putting focus on the pharmacist within us, paying attention to the wellness of our soul, not really dealing with things that emotionally make us happy, spiritually make us happy, mentally make us happy and joyful. And when we leave that empty, we never go to the grocery store and make all the right decisions. We never go to the grocery store focused. And that's why we end up with things not on our list. We end up home without things on our list. It's an example. It's, an, it's, it's just an analogy that they use. But we wonder why maybe some things aren't working out in our life. And we have to ask ourselves, you know, am I not as focused in my life as I could be? Am I not attending to my inner self the way I should be to help fill me so I can make these better choices for myself. I don't know. It's for you to know. So I loved how they said, make a list, spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, and then say, what do you need in any of those areas? Those are, those are each areas, like that's your wound, let's just say, and now you need to fill a prescription to help fill that to make it better. So what is that for you in any of those areas? You fill your prescription and they say you are your inner pharmacist. You have the ability to make all of that well for yourself. Do you? Or do you drive past the pharmacy? Your inner pharmacy. 
Do you not pay attention? Like I, I will use me as an example. I know I will always feel off if I stop meditating. That's my wellness. I know spiritually I need it. I know that when I do it, I'm happier. I know I have a bounce in my step. I know I'm more focused. I know I feel more certain. I know for me, meditating, if I forget it and I stop doing it, I'm going to the grocery store and not the pharmacist. I know I'm not dealing with what I need for my life in the right way. That's an example. So I'm sharing, I'm being transparent. And every single time I have laid off of it, whether it be three days, five days, a week, I have absolutely felt the difference with me internally. So I know that part of my inner wellness, my spiritual side, I know I need my meditation. I know that by filling that prescription, I am always moving towards life more focused. A thousand, hundred million percent. So that's an example. So what is it for you? Anybody want to share? Uh, let's see here. Hi, guys. Oh, Kathy says you are frozen. Must be in my bad internet. Oh, boy. Um, you could rewatch it, darling. Great message. Thank you. Perfect. So anyway, it's just something to really think about. Um, this, that's, this feels like what I'm going through. I'm going to the pharmacy tomorrow to get the vaccine tomorrow, and I've been worried and sick over it, not knowing. But if you're going to get your vaccine tomorrow because you feel it's going to help you mentally, physically, spiritually, because maybe by having the shot allows you to feel more comfortable to be with others, and maybe spiritually you need to be with others. Maybe mentally that will help you so that you can have interaction again, because let's be honest, the more we've all been away from everybody else, it, it has affected us mentally, has it not? You know, we need each other. We need one another. We need to be there for each other. We need to have that embrace with each other. And to not have that will affect us mentally. So if maybe getting the shot will help you in that area, you know, forget the other, you know, pros to it, but let's just use that for an example. Maybe that'll help you, darling. So maybe that will give you the certainty of knowing that you can step into life a little bit um, easier. I'm just using it as an example. I don't know if that's it for you, but I'm just using it as an example just to give you an idea. Let's see. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Um, I like the analogy of the grocery store and how we have choices. I like the pharmacy because it's prescriptive of what we actually need. Exactly. And what the guys are saying is we need to pay attention to our spirituality, our, our emotional system, our physical, our well-being, our mental well-being, our physical well-being, our emotional, our spiritual well-being. We need to pay focus that. That is our prescription. We can't ignore that because if we do, we will feel funky. We will feel off. If that is an area that we need filling, we will feel better if we fill it and we'll fill it by paying attention to it, by putting focus to it. So what is it for you? Walking in nature for me is wonderful. I love it. Sometimes listening to music is all that I need to lift my spirit. Sometimes that's just what I need. You know, sometimes it's just, you know, 10 positive quotes kind of help put me in a better mindset. So these are all things that, that, that feed and fill the prescription in these areas for me. What is it for you? Right? What is that for you? So let's just see. Um, okay, perfect. So I have some quotes I want to uh, share. Let's see here. Anne says, make sure you have reading glasses in the kitchen. No joke. <laughs> that's from earlier. So that's funny. Okay, good. So I just want to say I have a couple of uh, quotes I want to read that I think are kind of nice for this um, letter. And the first one is, Maybe the journey isn't so much about becoming anything. Maybe it's about unbecoming everything that isn't really you. So you can be who you were meant to be in the first place. Kind of nice, right? Get you thinking. It is not in the pursuit of happiness that we find fulfillment. It is in the happiness of the pursuit, right? Isn't that true? 
It is not in the pursuit of happiness that we find fulfillment. It is in the happiness of the pursuit. So it's about going through life, you know, going through life, expressing ourselves where we find our happiness. It isn't in searching for happiness. Is that going to make me happy? Is that going to make me happy? Is that going to be the thing that makes me happy? Is that going to be the person that makes me happy? Is that going to be this, the, the time that's going to make me happy? It's about the experience that we have. It's about the pursuit, the, the expression that brings happiness to us. So here's another one I think is nice. Jenna says she loves that. Um, Anne also says, after my vaccine, I felt like a million bucks. I didn't realize how stressed I was, right? So sometimes just having that gives us certainty. And maybe not having certainty or, um, or having that unknowing, that creates so much angst within us that sometimes by just dealing with it and addressing it helps lift us. And that's a prescription for us too, right? Because it takes the worry away from us. And maybe sometimes we are all bogged down with so much worry. And that if we can just address some of these things that cause us the worry, that's a prescription. By addressing those worries, by just addressing them, you realize that wasn't so bad. What was I worried about? That's okay. Some of us stress about the shop, but then you get one. You're like, well, that was no big deal. That's okay. I survived that. And we worry for, for nothing, you see. So sometimes dealing with it is actually filling your prescription because that makes us feel better. This is about making us feel better. What is it for you? Stop looking outside for scraps of pleasure or fulfillment, for validation, security, or love. You have a treasure within that is infinitely greater than anything the world can offer. To me, that's huge. This is powerful. That's from Eckhart Tolle. I love that. Stop looking outside for scraps of pleasure or fulfillment, for validation, security, or love. You have a treasure within that is infinitely greater than anything the world can offer. So doesn't that make you feel empowered? To know that within you is everything you need to have you feel better? to have you step into your day more confidently, that within you to address these, these prescriptions that need filling by just paying attention to how you're feeling and lifting yourself by filling those areas will make you feel so much better. And it all comes from you. I love that. Never underestimate your talents and try not to compare or wish for the talents of others. Focus on and accept the talent you have, and you will find great fulfillment in life. Jane Powell. I love that one too. So never underestimate your talents and try not to compare or wish for the talents of others. Focus on and accept the talents that you have, and you will find great fulfillment in your life. Love that. So my last quote of the night, happiness is a state of inner fulfillment, not the gratification of exhaustible desires for outward things. Matthew Rickard. Happiness is a state of inner fulfillment, not the gratification or exhaustible desires for outward things. So I thought that was lovely too. And I think sometimes we're, we, we do sometimes search outside of ourselves for things and it can be exhausting, can't it? when everything really sits within us, if we just ask ourselves, like the guides are always getting us to ask, 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 how does this feel? How do you like this? What is this for you? How does this make you feel? They're always asking you because to know yourself, you must ask yourself the questions. And they're always wanting you to ask yourself how you feel in this moment, how this makes you feel, how that makes you feel. How are you feeling about this? What are you needing right now? What would that be for you? What would make you happier? What? Ask, 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 ask. Because they say the way to get to know who you are is to absolutely ask yourself, what is this for you? How does this feel to you? And by doing that regularly, you will get to know yourself. You will collect that data to know who you are. And when you know yourself, you're going to be. I think there was a quote actually about that also.
Ultimately, your gift to the world is being who you are. It is both your gift and your fulfillment. So that is what I have here. And so I want to say thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed the letter. I know that it was a little bit long until they kind of got to the point here, but sometimes they really want you to have a clear understanding of these different areas, you see, before they can get to the point, because, you know, they're teachers. And so they want you to really understand the grocery store, you know, the, the pharmacist, the hairdresser, and how, you know, in life, there's importance for all of that, you see, but the pharmacy is where they really wanted to put focus and they feel that that's somewhere that we know, maybe don't step into that area enough. And uh, they just wanted to highlight that for us today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I thank you so much for coming on board. I hope you liked it tonight and I will see you guys next week at some point. It won't be on Thursday because I am uh, doing readings. Um, if any of you guys are interested in having readings with me, go right onto my website, monicatrollings.com, and you can book um, a session with me. Um, for all of you guys that I've um, given readings to or we've connected this way on, on, on my lives, I'm so grateful. Uh, I love hanging out with you guys. I thank you so much. And until next time, if you guys don't have any questions for me, um, I I read positive quote stories, books daily. Music is very essential for me as well. Excited to look at other areas that need my focus. Thank you. Great letter, Chris says. Wonderful. So I love that. Thank you so much. And, and again, it's going to be different for all of us. And that's how it's supposed to be. That's why someone else's prescription isn't going to help me. I need my own prescription to my own joy and happiness. It's personal and individual. And as we grieve through the loss of others in our lives, grief is also personal and individual. That's why somebody else's, you know, way of how they go through the grieving process is going to be different than how is best for you because it's personal and individual to how you feel, just like how you feel, you know, in these areas, you know, and you have to ask yourself, what is going to lift me? What do I need to add in my life? What do, what prescription do I need to fill? right? How can I make happiness a bigger part of my life? How can I touch myself? You know, how can I make myself more emotionally joyful? Um, you know, more, more, uh, more physical in my life. What can I do? So those are questions you have to ask yourself um, because your answers lie within you and the guides are always going to bring you back to you. So I thank you guys so much. Um, thanks for spending the time with me and allowing me to share the channeled message from Edgar. And um, sometimes they're short, sometimes they're a little longer. Um, and, but I'd rather just read it exactly as it um, came out uh, so I don't miss any word or any sentence that would be um, important. So I just read it as I got it. So I didn't uh, make anything shorter. So, okay, you guys, you be amazing. Thank you so much for sharing the night with me. Um, I appreciate it so much. You guys be amazing. Have an amazing night. And this is my cup today I had today because you guys are sometimes into my coffee mugs. Do you like this one? It says persevere. Don't you like that? We've all done a little bit of that, haven't we, all of us? We've all persevered in our life, haven't we? You can all think about that, right? Look how strong we all are. So wonderful. So, okay, you guys, until next time. See you.